Callisto is a moon that orbits Jupiter. It is the outermost of the four Galilean moons of Jupiter, which are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The distance of Callisto from Jupiter is 1.17 million miles. It's about 390 million miles from Earth. And you can also see Callisto and the rest of the Galilean moons from Earth with the naked eye. The name Callisto comes from Greek mythology. Callisto is a princess who Zeus fell in love with. The two of them had a child, and Hera, Zeus's wife, got jealous and turned Callisto into a bear. Afterwards, Hera continued to try and hurt Callisto, and tried to convince Zeus she was just a regular bear and to kill her. To protect her, Zeus turned her into a constellation, which we know today as Ursa Major. Callisto has an extremely thin atmosphere. It is composed mainly of carbon dioxide, oxygen, and hydrogen. Callisto is tidally locked with Jupiter. This makes it so that one day and one year are both 17 Earth days. The surface temperature of Callisto is negative 218 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of the extremely thin atmosphere, there are no winds or rain. There is also no volcanic activity, so there is nothing to erode the surface. Callisto is the third largest moon in the solar system with a radius of 1,497.7 miles. In front of Callisto are Ganymede and Saturn's moon Titan. It is the most heavily cratered object in the solar system. It also has an icy surface and it may have a subsurface ocean. Since there is nothing to erode the surface of Callisto, it has not changed in possibly billions of years. From a distance, you can see that the surface is covered in bright white dots that scientists think are the peaks of craters capped with ice. Gravity on Callisto is 1.236 meters per second squared, which means a person who weighs 200 pounds on Earth would weigh only 25 pounds on Callisto. The axial tilt is zero. Okay, so I would like to take a second to formally apologize for this model. Uh, I did not know what I was doing in the 3D model software. So yeah, I just recreated uh, my idea the best <laughs> that I possibly could. And now I will just... Uh... So we're going to call this alien Glorp because why not? Glorp lives in the subsurface ocean of Callisto. It's small, but it's very similar to a basking shark in that it floats around with its mouth open trying to catch bacteria. Since it lives in the subsurface ocean, it has no need for eyes. It uses echolocation and it can also sense infrared light. Since Glorp lives in the subsurface ocean, which is literally inside the planet, it has to cope with the immense pressure that is being put on it. Instead of bones, it has a skeletal structure made up mainly of cartilage. Besides some types of bacteria, Glorp is the only species that lives in the ocean of Callisto. Similar to fish on Earth, Glorp breathes oxygen from the water. Glorp reproduces asexually. It duplicates itself into two similar to a cell. It can be any color and its skin is smooth similar to a dolphin. Glorp has to protect itself from other members of its species because if it bumps into them then it dies on impact. It is a slightly intelligent species because it needs to watch where it's going as to not bump into anyone else. So they have to be aware of their surroundings. This is why it can sense infrared light because other members of the species give it off. They typically tend to be an individualistic species because of the fact that being around other members of their species is too dangerous. 